hello everyone um, thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel so this is going to be another uh, quick tip for 3ds max user out there now if you have ever used Maya before you know it has a great selection uh, tool for its uh, objects it's called outliner now max has something similar like that it's called select by name now it has some really great features but uh, sometimes I find this one uh, uh, you know a bit problematic to you know get around within my scene uh, the problem with this is if you if you want to select some object you have to select it and only then you can you know go back to your viewport and manipulate it otherwise it won't let you so uh, there's a great tool uh, plugin for 3ds max is called outliner for 3ds max uh, if you go to this website, it's called scriptspot.com and you search for Outliner, you can download the latest version or just do a Google uh, for Outliner for 3ds Max. Anyway, I will try to post the link on uh, the description below. So if you download it uh, and install it, actually installing it is pretty easy. Once you download the archive, just uh, you know unrar or unzip and drag the uh, Mac script file on your uh, Max viewport. Uh, they have a detailed instruction on how to install Outliner on the website. So anyway, uh, if you if I turn on my Outliner, it looks something like this. It's uh, similar to Maya's Outliner. Now the benefit of this one is you can dock it on your viewport. So if I just drag it over here or do a dock like that. So the benefit is it will let you select, you know, your object and let you manipulate it within the viewport. Unlike uh, Maya's uh, select by name, uh, sorry, Ma 3ds Max's select by name tool. Now it comes with some uh, other features as well. Like uh, you can select all of the objects and uh, change its object properties. Like you can make it, um, you know, see through. By the way, the keyboard shortcut for see-through is uh, uh, Alt X, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, you can um, hide the selection, or you can just select one of them and unhide them, or you know, just explore. I I I, I would uh, suggest that you explore it by yourself. So. Uh, even though this is great it has some problems and i will try to show you those problems so let me head, head on over to another scene i uh, won't need to save it so uh, this is a model that i worked on earlier and let me turn on my outliner and i'll dock it somewhere so anyway so right now it looks okay but if i reset the scene and try to open it again uh, you'll see something funny happening see even though it says that objects are in my scene I can't see them even if I unfreeze and unhide it's not there now I think it's a bug with this software but I'm not sure maybe maybe it's something wrong wi with my PC but uh, this is a problem that uh, you need to be you know aware of when you're using this tool so if I just reset this scene again and um, just you know take off my outliner come on there and now if I try to open up the scene again it works okay there's a uh, it doesn't seem to have any problem with that so yeah that's that's basically it so i would suggest that you explore this uh, little tool it's really helpful it has helped me in past and hopefully you will be you know you will you will also get benefit from this tool so anyway thank you for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe